is up vgc welcome back to another match day match day 18 the last one of our season and this conclude this means expert and apprentice will be concluding tonight unless they have their game rescheduled of course and tonight we have the mafiosos versus rapid and to lo alongside me today we have mr pet record hello say hello oh wait hang on they can't hear you one second this this court is being funky <laughs> okay they should be able to hear you now okay okay yes hello everybody in classic obs fashion petrichor voice was not heard but we are coming to you live from sunny illinois or dark illinois i guess it's nighttime how's it well, going it's Andy? it's summer it's not okay someone whoever's in illinois like tell us please you know um who uh who you know you know is it sunny or not but other than that today we have our final expert game all six uh all six uh playoff teams have already been decided and they are uh lg purple iris high tide surge casey espresso um tt or double sorry double taps rapid um the mafia's mafiosos and i'm forgetting one I, blackjacks oh, yes, that would L7, be uh, l7 l7 blackjacks, l7 blackjacks thank you um so they are your top they are your top six teams but um today we'll just determine final seeding for all six teams so it's gonna be a battle for those first two seeds um yeah but we do have some expert takes as well i did i did go around asking some expert players what their takes on uh on the expert playoffs and we'll be sp you know we'll be spewing some of them here and there throughout the stream so but we'll start off with one from party animals j dog and he says that tt is going all the way mf is 0 and 8 the last four match day match days high tide looking wash and lg's average age is 34 so take that as you will um but we are going to start map bands soon and what do you think? What bands bands do you think are are what was it? Are do are going to be banned? Uh, for maps, I think we're going to be looking at probably your standard bands with breeze, just because generally people don't enjoy playing breeze. Um, and then probably split. Um, I, I haven't looked at the comp history for these players, but split is no longer in the rotation, right? So. Well, okay. Split There's no a lot longer, less. Uh, Split's no longer in the comp rotation, but we still use it because we started the season last act, which means we had a different map pool back then. <laughs> yes, yes, but it, it also means less practice uh, outside of the server. Fair enough. Um, and and you can less, see here, uh, Breeze got banned. <laughs> yeah, we got a Breeze ban. I, you know, I, I watched some of the playoffs last uh, last season and blind, Opper, Breeze, yeah, get it out of here. All right, let's see how MF want to respond. Are they going to possibly do a target ban against uh, the Mafioso? Sorry, against the against Rapid, or are they just going to do a personal ban where they hate it the most, the map they hate the most? And it looks like Bind is going to get banned. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, Bind, I mean, if you think you're better, I think you ban Bind. Uh, the, the teleporters can really mess with rotations and uh, predicting where players are going to be on defense, and it allows a lot of flexibility for a good shot caller. Um, so if you're looking for a lower variance game, definitely get bind out of there. Um, no, that's fair. No one likes to play around those teleporters, and there's technically no mid. It's some because you know the TPs act as your quote-unquote mid, but uh, doesn't honestly, stop my comp teammates from calling mid. Honestly, no sorry. Yeah. Uh, but it looks like we're gonna get another map ban soon. I'm predicting Lotus. You know. Lotus three set map not very popular with a lot very popular with a lot of teams, but yet again some some players like that double smoke comp which is very popular on there right now. Um, but who knows? And yeah, Lotus allows you to do some uh, clove shenanigans uh, if you have a clove player. Um, um, but Icebox, yeah, it's a good ban. A lot of people don't like Icebox. Hey, hey map. I love Icebox as a viper man. Okay. Hey, uh, I I feel you there. I mean. Viper is super dominant on Icebox. I mean, you you could go and say mandatory. Um, the wall's really good. Um, but, you know, as an orb smokes player, it's definitely a little bit weird. 
Um, now, Viper has an orb smoke, but, you know, it doesn't count. Oh, and we see the Lotus Band and the Ascent pick. Uh, that was very quick. I mean, having done map bands, you have to, like, hold that mouse down. So they, they were ready for this. Um, I think Lotus, again, a map that you can definitely dominate on Viper. Um, clearly no Viper enthusiasts in these two teams. So that's out of here. Hey. Um, and we're stuck with uh, okay. some some of the orb, orb maps. Knowing Potato Wing, they used to be a very avid Viper main in the past, but they've moved on to a full-time Smokes main. But this season, they're playing the Sentinel role, and I've been told that they miss the Smokes role. So maybe, maybe, <laughs> I think, you know, based on team comps, um, this is how they, this is how, this is the maps they enjoy the most. So looks like we're heading to Ascent first, you know, the bread and butter of, VD, of Valorant. Some people hate it, and I, I personally, I love it because I love KJ as well. If you didn't know, I like to play characters that play very ratty. <laughs> um. Yeah, and I mean, Ascent is is the litmus test. litmus test for all, you know, Valorant teams. Can you play Ascent well? Are your fundamentals good? Is your training good? Are your defaults good? Um, if you want to figure out who you are as a team, play Ascent. So, I, I think, good pick. I wonder if uh, being the last match day of the season with, uh, you know, Everybody qualified for playoffs. Do we see some, uh, let's call it strate strategic strategy hiding? I Do you think we're going to see something? Think I, there's going to be strategic um, comp experimentation. Because, <laughs> you know, uh, this is the last match day, so teams may be inclined to, you know, and the top six are already confirmed, so teams may be more inclined to, um, you know, try things out, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, I. Deadlock is coming into the meta a little bit on Ascent in Pro. Um, I don't know if that's everybody, but definitely I think Sentinels has run it. If you're a, a Sentinels believer, oh. you may have seen it. I'm I am um, a Sentinels non-believer. In my opinion, actually, I should let me this clear. Right now. I do not like. I am an APAC fanboy at heart for my VCT. So Gen G T1 DRX, bring it home, boys. Oh uh, man, I mean Gen G is fantastic. I think. I want to be Munchkin when I grow up, so, you know, I, I feel you there. I mean, the guy is awesome. All, the, okay, look, the reason why is just because, um, you know, um, one might say I I, I started to like, uh, you know, I think just like Asian, the Asian uh, esports scene in t general, just because of, you know, Faker. Who doesn't love Faker, right? Oh, Faker's the goat, man. Okay, I mean... actually, to all those, to all you Twitch chatters out there, if you are a hater of Faker, um, I have some strong words for you. <laughs> Go watch the clip, and if you don't know what the clip is, ask somebody. They know the clip. I mean, that's how you know. It's maybe it... the greatest clip in all of esports. That's what you gotta ask. Do you know the clip? And if they if they mention the correct clip, then you know they're a true Faker fan. Yeah, yeah. Post post them Ryu faces in chat. Uh, Want to see them? But let's help. Let's talk. Let's talk about another expert take uh, that has been brought to my attention. This one comes from L7's Ian. Um, they say L7 will not be having a first round exit this season. If if he has to go 60 and zero to for the series to win the series, it will happen. That is his take. What do you think about that? Do you think L L7 Ian? Historically, L7 um, has been has been known to bail out in the first round of a playoffs. So, do you think that's going to happen this season, or do you think L7 Ian's take is going to come true? I all I gotta say is they cannot make the buy, so it is definitely a possibility. <laughs> Um, we'll see if the nerves get to him. I mean, it's when you make predictions, you, you got to stand up for him, and you got to you got to show out. And you know, I like the confidence. I think uh, you're, you want your do list to be the most confident player on the server anytime you step on that server. So I think it's a good it's a good take. I look forward to watching uh, expert playoffs. See how it plays out. Yeah, uh, I mean. I think, honestly, Expert Playoffs will be a great thing to watch, this and that should be happening soon. But, if you didn't know already, we do have our Mythic Grand Finals coming up this Friday, I believe, so stay tuned for that. We will have that coming. It is between Project Nova's Orion versus... Oh my. LG's, uh, LG's Blue Lotus. 
Sorry for the little um, brain fart. I forgot, you know, short term memory loss here, people. But it seems like everyone, uh, everyone is almost here. We are just waiting on a couple members right now. Um, but so while we, while we're just waiting on that, how about, how have you been with Pepper Core? I know you haven't been playing this season, but it's good to see you back. Yeah, I've been, I've been good. Uh, we're, we're doing all right. We are, um, currently the, uh, probably the biggest 1-1 merchants of all time, going 1-1 against basically every team in the tier. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we made playoffs, so, you know, at that point, anything can happen, and, uh, we're looking forward to, uh, going and playing some best of series. Um, hopefully I don't have to get into the, uh, counter strat books too much, but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll dig into my video archives. Video archives? What are those? What, what, what video archives do you have? Oh, well, am I allowed to plug my Twitch? No, 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 we're good, we're oh, good. I never tour Twitch. games you and, you know, Twitch. store them on YouTube and, you know, look back. You know, I try not to look at the crosshair ever because the placement's really bad. Um, but, you know, when you're VOD viewing and everything, you, you just look at utility usage and the mini map and, you know, comms whenever OBS records it, which is about 50% of the time. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, and actually, speaking of Apprentice, let me just pull up the Apprentice standings currently, because I thought, you know, why not we look at the Apprentice, because they are also finishing their tier tonight, so let's give that a up. And it looks like OS, very dominant, 26 wins and 8 losses, so they are guaranteed first place, unless some trickery happens and big scandal, but I don't want that to happen. Yes. <laughs> a, a little birdie told me they are going for the all-time win percentage for Apprentice this today. So if they get a 2-0, I believe they hold the the record for the best win percentage in the tier. Well, it, rounding, coming in second place is K Cold Brew, Casey's Cold Brew at 1915, High Tide's Crest at 1917, PA's Frag and Frogs at 1816, L7's Yacht Sea at 1719, and then the Mafia's enforcers with a 16 and 18. So it looks like though that there there is one team that could take pull up into a final spot of Project Nova's Cassiopeia. So depending how they do tonight, if they can 2-0 and maybe what either L7 or MF not doing so well, they could probably take that sixth fifth or sixth spot. So we'll keep you guys updated on that throughout the night as well. Um bringing us to hopefully a people our team, our group, uh, our players are ready. If not, it looks like we're still waiting on a few people. So we're just going to take a quick two minute break. We'll be right back when the game is going to start. So uh, anything to say before we head to our break? No, I think uh, just there's a couple streams that are up for the uh, playoff games. I think uh, Queen Bee is streaming. Oh, so uh, go check that out during the intermission, uh, but keep us up in the uh, tab right next to it so that uh, you can come right back when we start back up. All right. We'll see you in a few minutes. Bye bye.
thing in here? Uh, hey. Welcome back, VGC. It looks like everyone is here, so we will be looking to start soon. Sorry for the late start, but it looks like every team is ready. Uh, yes? Okay, we have... Just getting final check started, and we will be on to ascent with a, a, a rapid starting defense and mafioso starting attack. And let's head into Aegis Lux. What are you expecting out here, Andy? Thinking standard meta comps? Oh my gosh, they're going I, fast. Oh. Uh, so far, we've seen anything but the standard with. Uh, Double sensible? Double sensible. There's card. that deadlock we were talking about earlier. Um, we, we pulled out the, uh, the Sentinels comp with uh, a couple Sentinels. And uh, on the other side, we're looking pretty standard. Um, this is kind of your meta, meta ascent comp. Um, you know, I think MF is really looking to fight for that second seed in the first round by. So. Um, definitely yeah. taking it uh, a little less experimental but you know the deadlock can look good if you start on defense then look who's starting on defense <laughs> well I, I i think yeah rapid probably going to this like if we're starting defense we want a strong defense half and they're like double sense of what is we will make both sides impossible to take you know i will say though they yes. don't have the kj lockdown which is been which is just incredibly vital to taking some of the sites or to retaking some of the sites so maybe they're planning to play hard anchor and not play the retakes because retaking without a kj especially without her ult can be quite difficult yep i i think that is definitely true and you know i think the style is going to be bloody because again you don't have that retake utility you know you don't have those molly lineups to clear out tough angles so you just kind of got to fight for what you got and i think they definitely picked a comp that will allow them to do that with the double sentinel um expect a lot of fights skirmishes in uh really key areas uh right now i'm looking at tree um i'm looking at market you know these are kind of the key areas of ascent and they definitely have the tools to defend them awesome yeah and i think like especially there's a reason why i think the comp that MF is running has been meta for so long. It is just has good info, good flashes, good side take, you know, and on the defense, you have good side hold while also having good retake options as well. So it's, a, it's the all-arounder comp. Well, Temple Taps' comp is more geared to, you know, hard anchoring sites, not not letting anyone on to the site itself, and just, you know, playing playing to win, uh, playing to not give up any space. So we'll see how both teams will start off the pistol. I'm probably looking to see maybe MF look for a mid hit because the, the, the sentinel utility that double taps has isn't very good at holding mid itself. So who knows? <laughs> but we'll see. But uh, we should be loading in soon. Who knows who has the potato PC? Maybe it's potato A. You know, coincidence? I think not. <laughs> potato everything. You know, it's. Uh, <laughs> I think the important thing to look at is in that break we had an emergency sub come in, and it looks like. I believe Katie is out, and we have drag. Um, so, how will this change the attack defaults? You know, do they trust drag to be that solo lurker on the map? Um, I think we'll we'll kind of see how that plays out. Um, yeah, but it looks like we are seeing yeah, Sentinel, both Sentinels playing for opposite sides here. Uh, Drillium not opting for the. For the um the, the sonic sensors which are, are deadlock's main trips but opting for the gravna instead with a ghost so playing a lot more uh, not super like anti-entry but more of just stall actually the net can be still considered anti-entry what am i talking about but we see a 3-2 coming out from the mf here a uh, potato aims cam sees the dart and is probably suspecting oh and look at that dart we, we got a edge. scan oh and we got a tag with the Trip. And here comes the dash onto the site. Potato aim looking to fight but not getting anything. And it's gonna be Oh, but look where the spike is. It is towards B main. And look at this it's fake a full out fake. It's oh a my fake gosh. side hit. And it's Freon over every single rotation. And Sappy gets the first pick on Potato. That is a great pick. 
but how is it, how are the remaining players going to defend? Grabnet comes out, forcing the players to get rid of it, um, and sniping along those here, trying to just fight for uh, fight tree and double taps are just unaware. They are, it's just they have no clue. The spike is about to go down, and they're gonna be so utterly confused. All three A and the players. The spike's down, but they lose the death match. All three A it's, players it's... are are dead, but. It is spike plant on the other side, and double taps are now just realizing it. They have to clear out the space. They have no clue where any of these players could be. And low, high will motions take care of this. But gets taken out by Drillium. It's, it's all on to drag. And can she hold on to this? Alarm bot gets spotted. It tags onto Terry, but is she able to get killed? No, unfortunately not. Drag falls, and it is pistol round win for MF. Mafiosos. I blanked out again. Yes, an interesting pistol strategy with the 3-2 uh, fake. Um, they got the opening pick, they got the B site for free, and then they got stuck in a in a you know 4v3, and they just all died, and it allowed them to uh, basically get a 4v2 retake um, because they were fighting from a numbers advantage. So interesting strat. We'll see how the uh, anti eco goes. We got the uh, marshal coming out. Three kills against unarmored opponents. Yeah, I I mean like here look to grab a few to, uh, with the marshal to contest mid, but dragon on peaking and they have got this A main orb, so you know one of the goals on the eco is you want to grab those orbs, right? You you don't you know you're most likely not gonna win the uh, gunfight. So getting whatever you can, whether it be orbs or any uh, any other sort of advantage, whether it be armor off or a gun, is your main goal on the eco here, especially after losing pistol. Some mutual coming out towards a main, but they haven't. The spike is still towards top main, so they haven't decided where they want to go yet. Potato and Constant Chicken that I'm just fearful that someone could be lurking up in the tree, but remaining players still towards leading towards a main with TT being. I think just being wary that someone could have maybe possibly um, be another fake because they are. They aren't stacking the site yet. It's still playing quite wide. Drillium is going to spot out um, uh, blind, sorry, to top mid. So, noting where one player is and look where the spike is heading towards B. So, looking towards and towards B here. But can uh, can this jet stop the site take from C? Yeah, I mean, they've, they've got a perfect contact play. They're going to get contact with the jet. You're going to get one. And... Uh, their objective should be to live um because they have the gun advantage um yep there's the one now we play to uh play to the range because it's all classics i think they're probably still gonna get that pike plant down because that's all they really want speeds comes out wolves drag get this pike plant unfortunately not so no spike money or ultimate orb from the plant not what mf probably wanted but it is going to be their first full buy round here, so we'll see what they can pull out. Because double taps, all, they had a lighter, um, I'd say anti eco. They had a lot of marshals, a lot of specters, and uh, Starly, or who is their omen, is opting for the phantom. So, you know, say, just going with that ghost in the second round, really, you know, let, allowing him to buy up a bit stronger on uh, this bonus. So, who knows? Maybe double taps can convert this bonus here, but we'll see what happens. I stack yeah, up a, immediately um, we see a little bit more of an aggressive line taken by the jet um when you're on eco play for kills right i mean we're looking to get knife comes out so that means the trips are down well oh potato get one potato get the first one but gets traded by stampy tear however picking up one from tree with the ghost so this is a great this is a great just a great round already for uh, double taps and uh, another one uh, Terry is to pick on the snap to bring it to 4v2 it's on MS first full buy how are they going to play this out it's still way quitable for them but it's going to be extremely hard with those little gloss guns and lost manpower here comes the first take Jada gets from the early um it's a sec but motion gets a one of the starly and another one of the Ginobili and Terra versus Jaded. oh but Terra wins it with the ghost you know ghost demon right here four kills on the round and that is a bonus conversion for mf sorry double taps yeah and and their post plant setups were a little bit disjointed there you had a guy playing in the god spot but no coverage of tree and then you had a guy playing hell um and they unfortunately were not able to trade each other out even against uh slightly inferior weaponry so i i would look to see if they uh can develop a little more team play going forward 
um, in the post plants because ascent you want as many attacking rounds as you can get. It's a tough map, but I mean, uh, I mean this. But this is double taps is calm. Is what it's, it's made for. Double seven small, just locking down both sides, not allowing fighting on site and not letting the site be taken. But we do see potato aim getting caught by the knife here with a, a sort of a mid aggression, a mid push of somewhere. A couple members leaning towards pit, but it looks like the bomb is leaning toward it and towards B. Ball coming out towards mid, but Staffy is past it. Already. Will Drillium spot him? I don't think so. Uh, dog going out towards Amy and clearing up this one. And Blime just barely dodging that up shot from uh, Ginobili. So it is. They know this ops here, and I, I think they're a little scared to hit it. But the, the hesitation is everyone just stuck towards a B, a B main. Staffy's yeah, I'm looking around. at this omen hanging out mid. I mean, they they do not know he's here. Um, it, if he can get one, you know, timing the uh, the rotates on a deadlock, get a gun. I mean, this is prime position for your lurk. We have it is a four stack right now towards B. So, and, but MM are looking to probably just rotate. They probably just sussed out that you know they rotate, but will really in the stuff. But no, he does not know the snappy has made it into the mid, and here comes the cap push. Oh, and the stinger, the stinger, the stinger still quite broken in my opinion. And Jada gets the kill onto start lead, but Terra turns it up back onto blind, and he is left on all side. Can he get this kill? Oh, a bit of you is unfortunately not getting the kill onto Dragon. It's all left onto Ginobili with the Phantom left. dropping off the op somewhere, so Fight not letting planted. it fall into the hands of the MF, who I think. Probably won't take it, but who knows? I've seen some teams pull off the attack off. It's yeah, and we, we got another late lurk. I mean, is he aware? Oh, he clears it. A bullet. But he's, he's in a tough spot. I mean, they've got Oops. double crossfire. But he gets one. He's isolated him. One enemy remaining. Three. And it's My actually Ginobili might just win this out for the rest of his team. Will Stamp be able to notice him? Three. Yes, he does. Tampi catches One, out to two, on the three. Uh, catch, and it is a round win for MF it's on a round where I think they shouldn't have won. Yeah, I mean, Stampy definitely coming in huge for the team, getting that lurk deep up in mid, getting the pick, you know, slowing the rotates, you know, allowing him to get on the site with uh, minimal effort. I mean, it was a great, great round. Good call. Um, yes, this should be. You know, I don't know if they thought the op was just gonna sit there or what, but it was a it was an excellent read. It looks like we see another A stack towards from MF, and I think we're just gonna see five, a full on five man tape. How will uh, double taps respond to this? TP come off the top, it gets cancelled, and here comes a KO. So no useful to counter the side take. How are they gonna? Will Terry get a kill? No, Terry gets taken down by Drag, and it is a four v five now. A bit of an overpeak in my opinion, but who am I Spike to know? Planted. Tree door is going to get broken with the stinger. It looks like this this was also a save from double tap. So Buffy looking to play exits here. Shocker comes out, not doing any damage on anyone. And it looks like we have some lineups from Drag playing this close plant very well. Oh, but Jada gets a kill on the lead. Jada get one. Oh no, but Drillium gets a trade. Gets a two. Gets on one of the Stampy. Will he get spotted by the dark? Yes, he does. Oh, oh, but Starly gets a kill on two one enemy remaining. Uh, motions, and it's a, all seven, so it's a 1v1. And, uh, the, oh, and the, uh, the Deadlock ult just saving this round for them. Not letting Drag play this plant, plant, plant and it's 4k for Drillian saving this round for double taps and stealing it away from what should have been a free win for um, <laughs> MF. Yeah, I mean, we we really got the cinematic end of the round there, just kind of watching the reel come in. But yeah, I mean, double sentinel, doing what it's supposed to do, you know, winning rounds on defense. Um, we, we saw another piece of deadlock util come in, very handy. And deadlock maybe not um, be the most popular agent right now, but she has her uses. <laughs> yep, and it it looks like um, they're gonna rotate that deadlock off so she can't get hit by the uh, KO dart and we see kind of the standard uh standard cypher trips for the uh door smoke they're they're putting a lot of people towards mid yeah a lot of people towards mid here but the bomb is towards a main so it looks like we're probably gonna see another aim hit here but this is remind a reminder 
that this is MF save. So how successful this can be, who knows? They've they've eco before, so they can do it again. But I I, I don't know. Um, uh, double taps have a lot of stuff on util towards the A site, so it's been quite hard. And if and a potato aim can stay on. Uh, suppress, I think it might work, but here comes Sampy, he's gonna get, um, forced crouched and get picked off by Drillium, so it's 4v5, and that just, that just stopped the tracks of MF. They have no more spikes, they can't really hit any of the sites, actually. It's going quite hard. Here we see the door getting closed. Right here, because I think, you know, there's 30 seconds left on the map, uh, left in the round, so they are gonna have to hit a site, and they're probably thinking it's gonna be towards the A site. Sober Dark comes 30 out. 30 seconds left. Landing on the A site, scanning nothing so far. And here comes a hit. Dash in, does not get spot. It does get spot actually by the hunt. Really gets the first pick on the drag, traded by Jaden, but Terra gets another one. But Jaden, oh my god, three kills with the, uh, with the, with the sheriff. Is she just uh, the sheriff demon that we all we didn't know? Oh, but of course she gets traded out by Ginobili, and Ginobili saves the round for double taps. 5 1 is your scoreline with double taps in the lead. Yeah, I mean, good eco. They got a lot of kills there, and uh, it was pretty much saved by a fantastic fade haunt and then some nice head clicking by Ginobili. You know, they're not cheap rounds, but all rounds count the same, right? One round is one point. Um, looks like the Cypher this time is going to be the one rotating off the util. Let's see how this... Uh, changes the way TT plays defense, because looks like they're putting a little more effort towards that market area this time. Could this be a read? It looks like, uh, Stampy... it looks like they've got something. Stampy hasn't, like, sort of made it past Ginobili. Does Ginobili know? Will he get caught up? But no, Stampy probably going to stay behind the box. Stay nice, quiet, and hidden. Drillium over here just jump spotting towards A main, see, hoping to see, catch anyone, but I think Jaded maybe knows that someone's here and is just looking to play a bit slow. Are we going to see a fight here? Smoke comes out from Snappy. Where is he going to put this? Where's Shree? Oh, and here comes the piece. And gets the first kill onto Jet Ginobili. That is the Jet down for a double tap. So it is the Duelist gone. So their retake power is going to be quite uh, quite diminished now. Smoke coming out towards A main. They're, they're scared about this, a, this possible A main hit. But My that, 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 that uh, camp sorry, spots at least two mid. So they're prob they know it's going to be an A hit here. Drillium caught out by the, the molly, but it is a million kill on the Jaded. Drag trades back, and it's another kill from Stampy onto um, Terror. Left. But Starly gets a spray kill back on the Stampy, and it is a 2v3. Quite winnable for double taps, but reminder uh, I'm out of three ults and O, oh, but Motion gets the pick onto Starly. So it is now all up to Petroleum. Can she do this? Can she clutch it out? Gets the first kill. Will she get the second? No, but Blind cleans it up, and there's. Another round on the board for doubles uh, MF. Yeah, and it was an excellent first pick, and it caused a ton of chaos on the TT defensive side, where Cipher had to give up that mid presence that they were that they had with the cam, and it ultimately yes. led to some slow rotates and getting locked out of the site. So excellent shot calling by the, uh, the MF team. Yeah, really brilliant. They 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 knew, they played it slow, got the picks, and then. Okay, decided to hit site together, not letting any of the double taps members get any of the kills they want. And we've seen A B stack for <laughs> double taps here, looking to be aggressive on their save, but that is not where they are. And here comes a KJL onto the A site. Terium probably looking to play just for a couple kills, play and be that little annoying sentinel <laughs> player. But how will this pan out? This not get hit. Oh, but unfortunately, the Tang comes in just now, unable to get the kill. So Drag gets a pick onto Pito Aim, and... Oh, but it looks like that little flank force that came out from B main has got one kill into B A main, and it is a pinch play they're going for here. Yeah, it only gets one, but is it able to get... Uh, but gets straight out with Jaded. It's up to Starly and Jerillium now. 2v3, very possible with Drag being so low. It is... And this... KO is over, so possible deadlock ult coming out maybe? And here it comes. Does it catch anyone? It does catch Blind. So does it now perfect 2v2. How will this game played out? Drag gonna get- Oh, but Drag gets killed by Drillium. It's all down onto Jaded. Who is in hell? Can he get this kill? Yes, he does. Getting another round for 
MF, oh my god, what a round, that was so close. Really well played from both teams, but MF coming out on top in the end. Yeah, I mean, excellent round. They managed to get a setup that uh, even Deadlock couldn't break. I mean, they, they caught one, but they weren't able to clear the help player, and ultimately that was their downfall. Um, let's let's see how they play this one, because I think we're on equal buy this time. Got a standard cipher setup. Um, the fade eyes have been excellent out of uh, the TT fade. I mean, they are catching two to three people with every scan. So this A site hit, 5A main, extremely risky. Yeah, we see that Omen all coming out looking for info spots. Potato aim on the site, but no one else. And that Fade Eye again, always catching someone. So Terror has some Fade Eye lineups on this map. So pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> uh, but we do see Ginobili here watching this cat push. Does get smoked off. And he's hearing these people cat. So he is coming to his team that definitely some people are mid right now. Oh, Terror, Stampy gets the wrong way. Gets gets killed by Ginobili, but gets traded out by Blonde. But Motions also gets another kill onto uh starly who was sitting top mid Terra gets a one to pick onto blind but motions again trading out so it is a 2v another 2v3 numbers in favor of mf so is this another deja vu but on the b site this time here we go can uh Drillium hold the site by himself while he's waiting for tato aim to come and help drop 30 down seconds left. Oh, but no, unfortunately not. JD gets the kill and it's all down to Potato Aim. With the Bulldog, it is quite possible. Oh, but it is pinched from a crossfire from Bone House and Maid. And that is a round, another round for MF. Yeah, I mean, excellent clear of backside by MF. They uh, had somebody go in, and then when uh, Trillium tried the timing, they were there watching. Um, and they cleared backside properly. Got the plant down. I mean, that's fundamental Valorant right there. Very true, um, very true. And and I think honestly, um, it it really uh, it, double taps calling on the timing is probably warranted because they've lost like three rounds in a row right now. So not looking so hot for them. So I wonder what they're talking about here. They're probably maybe looking for a gamble stack because MF has been, has been playing in default. So uh, gamble stack is an option they could do. Also, but I wouldn't take my <laughs> advice very seriously um I, I they're talking about rotations um they've been fast rotating pretty often and the last couple rounds they've been caught out where they fast rotate and then suddenly mf is on the other side and i think they're gonna probably leave cypher as an anchor on a if i was to guess and probably stack a little bit heavier towards b um yeah i mean but maybe that's not this round because this is uh, an eco, right? So we're oh, gonna see true. that Bucky yeah. coming out, and you know, actually no, no that's not a Bucky. OS is uh, sorry, not OS. Double <laughs> taps <laughs> opting to force up here, and then they're looking to save the next round, which is I don't see kind of smart. It lets you have a full buy for the last round, which I think is one of the most important. We do see a fight towards A B, and the one are we coming out and Ginobili trying to hold it, but the bomb is leading towards b and two players as, as well so possible b and here from mf stampy all the way up to cat looking to push into tree here enjoy the spots two towards the b main noting and that draws out the rotation from terror but oh stampy sees this trick of down really good no loses the fight to duel and here comes the cypher really good everyone's position which gives i think Double taps the info, all info they need. They're all they're so spread out right now that they can just sort of play back still and just not worry about any flanks. Wall comes out towards B main, stopping is what any push that may come out. Are they gonna break it? No, I don't think they're not. So looks like they're probably looking towards end A here because that it is there's 40 seconds left in this round and breaking that deadlock wall is always takes quite a bit. <laughs> Yeah, and, and we're definitely seeing those slower rotations come out of TT here. I mean, they've left Omen anchoring that B site with basically help. I mean, Deadlock is going to be jump spot in mid. Seconds left. Making sure they don't just get site for free. You know, here, kind of stuck in uh, just behind uh, Shroud. Does he get spot out? It spots out. Gets a kill on two. Try. Gets a kill on the blind. That's two for him right now. 
dashes away to safety and is just two players left in aiming but did they know that Starly is behind them? I don't think so. Gets one onto blind about my motions and it's all left onto Jaded. It's too stuck in one and blinded and blinded again. Oh, poor Jaded. It is a firing squad upon him. Yeah, and clearly whatever they talked about in the timeout definitely helped. I mean, that was a overwhelming victory in that round where they burned down the time and then once it was time to hit site they were able to just fight for site and you know Ginobili maybe gets a, an extra one that he shouldn't have gotten but you know overall good round uh yeah that was a really good round from double tap okay. so they're probably trying to replicate it again with at least some some of the trips coming out towards a and then a heavy a stack looking to play the retake on me dog comes out will spot one no it's a lot of presence but oh jaded just the spray gets Ginobili. i don't think Ginobili was expecting that spray to come out the entire time and here comes the side take oh and here's a and there's um so well as well Willie Patrick gets the kick onto terror gets a kill but it is a traded terror does get one before he dies and the door is open so that is oh the, oh my so much just happened <laughs> motion gets killed potato but gets traded by drillium who gets traded out by stampy and a fake fake uh, window break also trying to lead someone towards me it's the first kill does he get the second kill? He does, and it's all it's suddenly just down to a 1v1. Jade again playing his favorite spot in Hell, where he's won multiple games off of, rounds off of this. I wonder how Starly will play this. I'll be noting that he is towards Hell. Does he check? So worried about the multiple angles. So oh, spots his arm, knows where he is. Does not win out the fight from Jaded, and Jaded again winning this round for MF in such a crucial first half of them Last they want to end 6-6 six, six here they want to end even and not have to play with the de not play with a deficit and in going into the second half yeah and five rounds i mean five rounds attack ascent that's fantastic i mean if you can get this game even you're looking good for the first map um you know they didn't run a no sentinel comp and so they will still have a sentinel on that defense side um yeah I mean, looking at here, we see the knives from uh, Ginobili, who also has uh, a judge as well. And with all the knives, and it's always it down to 11 health. Oh, this is so bad. But, oh, and here comes a KJ ult as well, just guaranteed the embassy the majority of sight. Only hell is the safe place, but they may shock her. And Drillium being so low could just die to, to a, 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 a quick whisper from the right, wrong person. Omen, Sappy TV's in. Is he gonna drag? Try fighting for us Oh, I guess gets the kill onto Ginobili. Does not let him get the kill with the judge. The stamp. Prosoma and sorry, Starly and Potato trading back, tearing the terror. Also getting a kill. And it's blind tearing back onto terror, but it's all left to the chat who's stuck on site. Grab netted and is now left to motions who unable to help blind on site gets traded again. 7 5. And I think this is what. Double tap so on it, not sucks. ending 6-6, six, six, especially with the double sentinel comp where it is very hard to take the site. Yeah, I mean it's it was excellent trading. Unfortunately the bomb went down in the middle of uh middle of the site and they weren't together to fight for it. So it was a ultimately a pretty tough